All right, YouTube, uh, just here to test the jet engine and see how many minutes of runtime we get on the 600 mm fuel that it's got on board. Uh, also got the launch drone. Uh, gonna test that. I did some tests yesterday uh, carrying a fun jet, which is that one there, um, which is slightly lighter than the jet. Um, and it worked, it dropped it, it was fine. But the yeah, drone did sound like it was struggling a bit, so um, I've actually added some weight to the drone to account for the fact that that jet is heavier than that electric fun jet. Um, so we're going to test the drone today as well and make sure that it can climb up to its set height and um, release the fun jet whilst being at the same weight that it's going to be when it's carrying the turbine jet. So. Uh, it's got to be done. Uh, I'm, I could launch the jet right now. It's all here. I could do it, but um, yeah, I'm, I need to do some other tests first. I'm scared. So, <laughs> so I'll be confident this is going to work. Um, so we've got everything here. We've got the um, compressor for cooling down the jet engine in case the auto cool doesn't work. Um, fuel, gas, headphones, ear defender things because it is noisy as hell. And the drone, and the fun jet. A turbine and a plane just to uh, chill out with. Cool, let's get going. So the plan is I'm going to run it at about half throttle um, and just see how we go from there. It's got a um, current sensor on the fuel pump so that reads the milliamps of the fuel pump as it's going so hopefully that's going to correlate to uh, the amount of fuel that the plane's using. It seems to work at home, I only ran it for a couple of minutes but uh, it registers the, the current and um, yeah so it should work. 